Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Caliban, her continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilization, to boredly go where no man has gone before. Hey everybody, this is Thomas with GeekCast Without a Name. Like I promised, here is Star Trek Online in our new video series that I am now calling I'm Bored, Let's Play. Hopefully in the future that we will expand beyond Star Trek Online, but for now, I figure this would be a good starting point. For those of you that are unaware with this game, unaware of this game, excuse me, it came out in February of 2010, and uh, really had a lot of promise to it. Unfortunately, it did not do very well. Um, it's hard to say why. Um, where, it, as far as Star Trek content is concerned, it was right where it needed to be. The space combat was great. It's just everything else that sucked. I have not been on this game for at least a year. Actually, over a year now to think about it. So, they've added some things to it since the last time I was on. So, I'm going to start up a new character here, and you guys are going to experience the changes at the same time I am experiencing them for the very first time. Um, I see they added a creative content stuff, uh, basically called the Foundry. Um, that's something that they just uh, started not too long ago, where you can make your own missions, do all kinds of other stuff on it. Um, haven't really had a chance to even really play with it. I, I saw it a moment ago when I just logged in for the very first time. Um, I'm not going to play with that right now. May later in later video series, but just not going to worry about it at this moment in time. Um, as far as my new character, uh, I'm probably going to do Clone. Not sure if I want to do Klingon or Federation. I know previously there was more Federation content than there was Klingon content. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Federation. Just make a new Federation character. Let's go tactical. Let's see. Nah, I'm not going to make a cat girl. Cat bo cat person. Liberated Borg, that's what my main was. Klingon. Nah. Let's do alien, that way we can make a custom. Let's go male. Uh, customized traits. No, I think I like those traits. We'll, we'll keep those as they are. Let's see. Let's go to advanced. Humanoid. Ridged. Yay! Now you guys get to watch 15 minutes of me make a custom character. <laughs> Let's do that. Ooh, they added some new content. Panthro! Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Ho! Um, ooh, I like that. Uh, where'd it go? What one was that? That was... That. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's change the color to that. Um, give sort of a purplish tint to clash with the black there. Um, forehead, uh, base complexion. Let's go. Ooh, that's cool. Coraled, bizonite. That's kind of cool. Sorry, no, no. Affected. Nah, I don't like that. Um, let's go with coral. Forehead details. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, 
Explosion. And Menzide. Ooh, Zindy Prime. Let's do deal spines. Nah, let's not do deal spines. You can't really see very much on that. Let's do bridges. Those detail. It. No, let's make the detail. Yeah, let's keep it like it was. Tattoos and scars. I like giving my character scars. I don't know why. One of my pet peeves is having perfectly unscarred characters, especially in situations like this, where they need to be scarred. I mean, unfortunately... Uh, doesn't look like any of the scars really come up very well on this one. So we'll go tattooed, I guess. Oh, that's why. It's only it's only showing up on the nose. Okay. That sucks. Let's make it white so it shows up a little better. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. I was hoping that it would show up a little bit better, but I'm not too worried about it. Eyes, yeah, let's keep them like that. Ears. Let's do no ears. Hairstyle. I think it looks better with none. Eyebrows, none. Mouth accessory. Well, see if they got any new mouth accessories. Beard. No, 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 no beards. Uh, maybe. No beards. That's technically not a beard, but still. Ooh. <laughs> now it kind of looks like a Drone from World of Warcraft. Eh. Now yeah, we'll do that. Eye attachment. Oh, eye patch. Oh yeah, let's keep that. Let's make that. Yeah, I like that. Yar, we made this. Ah! Oh, that's cool. They added the new stuff for the horns. Whoa! Okay, that, that didn't look so well. Now there's that. Let's do that. That looks cool. And yeah, this really matters. Body variant. Let's go advanced. Stance. Um. Base height. Let's make them seven foot. Give them some bulky shoulders. Decent shoulder width. Arm length. Give him sort of a little bit arm, greater arm length. Leg length. Time to make ourselves a uniform. Let's see. I never liked the Sierra uniform at all. I don't, I don't know why. Let's see. My favorite one has always been this. 
primarily due in part to the fact that I love the Next Generation movies, so, and this is what they wore in the Next Generation movies, so that's mainly the reason why I've liked this one so much. Um, didn't really care very much for that one, despite the fact it's the same. The only thing it didn't have was the ruffles. I, I don't know. Let's go. Let's do... Oops, wrong one. Let's go... Films. Standard insignia. Let's go... Next Generation Films. Change that. Can't even see them. Let's make that silver like it should be, and that gold like it should be. There you go. Yeah! see rank he's just an ensign so he's only gonna have that pip and those pips were gold if i remember correctly hands let's let's give him some gloves and some black gloves um lower body Let's go that belt. No, nah, I'm not gonna give him a belt. Yeah, split bottoms, leather boots. Make the leather boots darker though. Good. Okay. Um, let's see. Character name. Um no, I'm not, I'm not sure what to name him. Um, what about... Hmm, what is a good name? I always suck to thinking up names. Let's just name him... Uh, <laughs> let's just name him Corsair! <laughs> Oh God, I could win. I, I could spend days writing the bio form, but I'm not going to right now. I'm just going to get play since you guys waited way too long for me already. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Star Trek Online. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. And 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Today, Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared and attacked the Vega colony. The Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Wow, holy shit. They really did change the intro. That was completely different when I was playing. Wow.
That's awesome. Okay, here we go. Incoming hail. Wow, it even starts out at a different location than the original. The orig originally, when you started playing the game, you started out in a uh, lounge. Wow. Let's see. Report to report to the chief security officer. Wow. I wonder if it's because I'm a tactical officer that I start out here now. The Borg are attack attacking, and Captain Taggart needs uh, help on all stations. Okay. Nice. 